Hey guys, it is Wayne, and this is the Tabletop Experience. Uh, today we're doing an unboxing video. Um, we're going to be unboxing Warhammer Underworld's Nightbolt. I did go ahead and cut the cellophane off because, you know, trying to do this one-handed as it is. And here we are again, uh, with the box actually open now, instead of just shaking the camera at y'all. So, a lot of you probably already seen this stuff before, um, but again, this is more for people who are just getting into the hobby. Um, we have this package here, which is going to have our boards and tokens in it. Um, we will come back to opening that in a minute. Looks like we have a rule book and assembly guide. Which you gotta love the art on that. And here are our Stormcast actual models. Uh a band of evocators. These things actually have some really good detail on them. Especially these bases and stuff. In all honesty, it's kind of the, one of the cool things about a lot of the easy to build stuff. Is these super detailed bases. Because um, I'm, not, I'm not very good at the whole basing bit. So having that already done for me to where all I have to do is paint it makes my life easier. Here we go. And then we have the the Night Haunt Warband. Oh. Again, with the super detailed bases. All these different little chain rasp poor guys. There it is. There, there she is. The Briar Queen, I believe, is what her name is. Super nice models. Have a little bag with some dice. Uh, looks like five attack dice, three defense dice, and three magic dice. Got some hex cards. Yeah, Thorns of the Briar Queen. That's the uh, Night Haunt one. Which will be going to my lovely daughter. There we go. Storm Cyrus Curse Breakers. That's the the storm cast one that comes in the night vault, the uh, night vault box. Which my son's gonna have these probably when he's playing. Gonna use um, the main guy there, Storm Sire, as a Lord Arcanum on foot for him so he can run Sequiturs as battle line. So those are the two decks that are supposed to be specific. Um, here are some extra cards. Um, definitely be doing some deck building stuff with these. Not just for their warbands but also for mine which is the Spike Claw Swarm which I already have painted up. Um, here's like a sample chapter from one of the the books and stuff that they've done. The Sh uh, Shade Spire, The Mirrored City, which from what I've read in reviews was really good. I haven't actually read the book yet. Um, definitely going to be giving that a read later. Uh. 
There's another little pamphlet. Night Bolt. This was just the beginning. Now, this is kind of an ad for Age of Sigmar proper, which I'm a big fan of anyways, so going to be pushing that a little bit. And I'm also super happy that they decided to include these. These little baggies. Because this makes it so much easier to keep the different types of tokens separated. For all of these, these boxed games, whether it's Games Workshop or anyone else, I think everybody should be including these baggies to help better keep up with your tokens and dice and such. For that game, so no one winds up losing them. So, we'll put some of the stuff back in here. There's cards, which we'll get back to later. Put the dice back in there. And the sprues. So here's a learn to play guide. Uh, it's got a thing showing the battlefield and all that fun stuff. Instructions on how to build both Storm Sires, Curse Breakers, as well as the Briar Queen's Thorns. So here is the actual rule book. Uh, it's not real big or anything, so the rules are not too heavy. But I've definitely played a game, so um, I do enjoy it. There is enough requirement of strategy and everything, but it's easy enough to pick up. Um, I also like it when games do this, where they have the quick reference guide, like on the back of the book, or say like the front page or something. That way it makes life a lot easier, so you can... Like if you've got a quick question, a lot of the times it's on that reference page. So this is going to make life a lot easier in regards to remembering the game as we continue to play it going forward. Alright, for right now, let's set this stuff back in here. And one moment while I get in, or get the stuff off of this package right here. Okay, so here we go. Got the cellophane off the boards, which... Each of these boards is, if I can get it to open up, is double-sided, and they just fold in half, so there's a little bit different on both sides. Um, I know that these are... Um, impassable terrain like you can't go through here and these are like dangerous terrain these little red ones and then all the ones with these little icons are like your little where uh you'd have to start your your characters at so but those look really cool there should be two of these um and here you go here's Markers for what I was talking about, like like dangerous terrain kind of things, um, impassable. Um, glory tokens, uh, wound or wound tokens. And these are your different, like, activation tokens and stuff. Got two big old sets of them. Um, here's 
there's the other board. Both a little bit different, and I like that. And as I'm looking at these tokens, I missed a page of them. So, these ones that have numbers, these are objectives. Two, three, four. Five, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine over here on the last page. Uh, I don't think most of the scenario things have you used nine objectives. I don't remember though. I think most time it's just five. Uh, I think the only time you use six, seven, eight, and nine is if you have. Uh, more than two players. But, we do definitely have some impassable terrain and dangerous terrain markers too. So, good to know. And that's it. That is Night Vault. I am looking forward to getting the miniatures built. getting them primed and letting my kids get to painting because my boy wants the storm cast and my daughter wants the night so again thank you for joining me on my journey through this tabletop experience